Hey guys, I'm Ron from YouTube channel, channel Ron83 and today I'm here with a new tutorial on how to install XM server on Ubuntu. Okay, open your browser and search for XM server download. I have provided the link on the description. Now search for uh, download for Linux and also see which PHP version you are downloading. I prefer to install the higher version of PHP. This is your XM server Linux version download. And the higher version of PHP here is 5.6.3. Click download. Also check uh, for which architecture you are downloading. Mine is 32 bit and if you have 64 bit you can download the 64 bit. Mine is 32 bit so I will be downloading the 32 bit. If you have 64 bit you can download the 64 bit. Okay I have already downloaded the file. So I'll not be doing it again. You can download it and your download will be saved in the downloads folder. Go to the downloads folder and copy the setup file. Here I'm copying it because I, I'll be needing the file location while writing the command in the terminal. Here in Ubuntu to paste you have to press Control shift v and also to install the xm server you have to be a super user the code for is code for that is uh, should sudo space su enter The codes are on the description you can copy paste it and of course you have to change the username mine is run you'll be giving your own username also you have to give full read rate and execute access to the setup file for to, read, uh, to do this uh, you have to type the command sudo space chmod space 777 777 is the code for read write and execute access full read write and execute access to the file or folder Your installer, installer will start now. It will guide you through the rest of the process. Here, yeah, this is your installer. Hit next, and here you'll uh, you'll be. It will save two files: the core files and the developer files. The core file includes the Apache, MySQL, PHP, and Perl file, and the developer file will uh, add few folders which will be used for development purpose and your XM server will be saved on opt lamp folder you'll find this opt folder in your file system Okay, the download will take a few few minutes. I'll pause the video and I'll come back when it is done.
my installation has finished now it will launch two things the server manager this is the server manager here you can uh, manage your server go to the application open application folder which is opt and lamp okay and this is the home page of the XM server that is when you will type uh, localhost this page will open here in the left hand left side uh, left hand panel you will find few links uh, this will show you the status of the server securities and also you can open the access the PHP my admin from here go to the status here we haven't configured our server now so the MySQL database has been deactivated and also the few PHP extensions are also being deactivated so we'll configure the file now configure the server now we haven't set any password for our SQL server so it is unsecured now we'll set it right now copy this statement and execute it in the terminal it will open an uh, interactive set uh, setup process to set the passwords for your X, uh, mysql server and xm page okay it has started uh, it says the xm page are not secured by a password so set a password now type yes and then enter set your desired password here it says my sql is accessible from via network it is not recommended do you want to turn it off no i want it to be accessible via network so i will not turn it off it's my personal preference so you can turn it off all yeah, if you like you can turn it off Uh, PHP my admin user PMA has no password set so set your password you have to set all the passwords here guys if I'm going pretty fast you can pause the video and check here my SQL has no root password set that's why my SQL was not working set your password now type yes and then set the password and also I suggest that you save your password somewhere else so that you don't forget it because if you forget the password of MySQL, you will not be able to access the uh, MySQL server. So I recommend to save it somewhere secure so that you can, you can access it. okay it's all done now so I'll refresh the page and now you will go to the my uh, my PH, php my admin and upload few tables which has been provided with the package with the php package it's in the php folder example uh, php my ad, uh, php my admin example folder we have to upload those um, for upload those tables 
from the folder. Go to the uh, go to the amp, uh, XAMP folder. It's in opt lamp, and here you'll find the PHP MyAdmin folder. It will take some time to open. And here, search for examples folder. Here, the you'll f find few files with an extension SQL. So those are the SQL uh, SQL tables. Here we'll be importing two uh, two tables. First, create tables dot SQL, and the second is upgrade table mysql four one two dot SQL. So first, create table SQL. Browse it and hit go. It has been imported. Now import the upgrade table mysql dot SQL file. And hit go. Okay, it has been imported. So we are done. Our SQL server is ready to go. Go to the status. Yeah, MySQL database has been activated. Few PHP extensions are still showing deactivate status. We'll be configuring it right now. First, let, uh, let's create a shortcut for our server control panel so that you don't have to start and open your server from the uh, command line. Type this code. It will create an, a launcher icon for the server control panel. Go to my uh, go to computer and then USR folder and then share. Here I'll find a folder named applications. We'll be saving the launcher uh, launcher icon in this application folder. Type this code. The code is in the description. It will open uh, a notepad and paste this code. And this code is also available in the description. You can simply copy and paste it. Save it and go to the applications folder. And here is the uh, XM control panel launcher icon. Copy the launcher icon, uh, launcher icon location. We will be giving uh, full redirect access to this file. But here with uh, little difference, I will be using plus x. Plus x will uh, sudo, uh, sudo chmod plus x. Plus x will give access to the file with a password. So whenever you open it, you'll be, uh, you'll be asked for a password, root password. So it is. Uh, I find it much more secure, so that no one can access the server except for the uh, the person who knows the password. This is the XM control panel. Now go to the desktop and lock the launcher. Right click on it and click lock to launcher so from here you can access uh, access the server control panel it will be asked for a password as I have uh, given the chmod plus x command to the launcher here you can start and stop your server okay let's go to the status now and let's activate the php extensions click on the uh, cfaq link And scroll down here how to how do I activate the OCI 8 Oracle extension for PHP so follow the instruction open your terminal and type the command sudo space backspace uh, backspace backslash opt slash lamp slash lamp space OCI 8 
and hit enter. And then hit enter again. It's all done. Refresh the page and go to status. Yes, it has been activated. And let's activate the OPC cache. Now go to uh, op folder and lamp and open a terminal and now give uh, give this uh, lamp folder full read at access that is 777 chmod 777 access to the lamp folder why we we'll, uh, why we're doing this because we have to change few files in the inside the lamp folder you will not be able to save the changes until unless you give full read at access to the file or uh, to the folder lamp folder Now go to lamp folder and in ATC folder you will find this php dot ini open it and search for op op cache remove the colon extension from the line and save it and then restart your server from the control panel Go to your browser and type localhost and now check the status. Yes, all the things have been activated. Your server is fully functional right now. So let's now make a test page, HTML page and test it in the server. I'll be using a program called Composer. It's a very similar program to the similar program as like Dreamweaver in Windows, Adobe Dreamweaver. It is used to create um, web pages, develop web pages. Uh, this is a similar kind of program like Dreamweaver. So I'll be using. Uh, you can. I have a video on how to install Composer on Ubuntu because it is not available in the application center in ubuntu so you can check the down uh, check the link in the description i provided it you can also install few uh, two more programs called gimp it's a similar program like photoshop and inkscape Inkscape is a vector image uh, program. It is used for develop development purpose. So here I've created the page. Welcome to my newly installed XM server. I gi uh, give a title to the page and save it in the docx uh, htdocs folder in the server XM server. So you'll find this folder in ops lamp htdoc folder so you have to say uh, this is the home folder of your server all the web pages will uh, you have to space save all the web pages on this folder then only your page will work go to the file system opts lamp and then htdocs save your page here as i have said this is the home page of your server you have to save uh, all your web pages which you will be developing in this folder. Now open your browser and go to the URL localhost backslash test.html which I have created right now. Hit enter. Yes. The server is working. So thank you for watching the video and please do subscribe